Hello guys, welcome to a new playlist on Cucumber. Now, uh, till now, I have published several playlists on uh, Selenium framework, Selenium web driver frameworks using the non-conventional page object model, using the conventional page object object model using by class and using the page factory. Now we are going to see a BDD tool called Cucumber. What is a BDD tool? It's a behavior driven development tool. So what is a behavior driven development? Now in UAT executions, you may several times require to execute uh, test cases or in agile environments, you don't have the full requirements and you need to execute test cases based on user stories. So in that case, Cucumber is a very useful tool. And uh, here we have something called features which we will explore later as we develop the framework uh, apart from the features we have something called a step definition file step definition file is our java class which will drive the framework and uh, the rest of it is uh, just classes which are used in the uh, page object model framework so basically cucumber has been written in the ruby programming language and cucumber projects are available for other platforms beyond ruby so now let's see what all jars are required for cucumber so these are the jars required for cucumber you can check from here first one is the cucumber core 1.2.5 Cucumber Java 1.2.5, Cucumber JUnit 1.2.5, Cucumber JVM Depths 1.0.5, Gherkin 2.7.3, JUnit 4.4, Hamcrest All 1.3. So all these are uh, you can just Google and download these. You can also use Maven, but in this playlist I have shown only the uh, normal approach normal approach to develop a page object model framework using cucumber so now uh, you can download these using the google and after that what you do is you go uh, to your uh, eclipse and here you will have to bring these in the build path uh, build a path of Eclipse but before that let's see what the Cucumber depends on Cucumber depends on something called as Gherkin Gherkin if you search on the net if you search here you will find Gherkin Gherkin is a business language used in BDD so let's see what Gherkin is Sorry, this is not uh, the Gherkin that I am looking for. Let's go to Google and search over there. Gherkin Cucumber. Okay, so here you will find the definition of Gherkin, or rather, we can go to Cucumber okay, rather than this. We can go to the Cucumber official website, cucumber.io. I will also show you how the official website looks like so you will get a feel this is the official website of cucumber it's cucumber io cucumber.io is the main website and here you will find everything everything related to cucumber so gherkin what is gherkin cucumber executes your dot feature files now feature files are something that we will see later here you will find an example of a feature file how a feature file looks like uh, so feature is refund item scenario every feature has a scenarios various all various scenarios will be there in a feature and uh, more than one scenario can be there so scenario is some some person returns a faulty microwave and then there will be given when and then clauses so given jeff has bought a microwave for say dollar hundred and he has a receipt when he returns the microwave then Jeff should be refunded dollar hundred. Now all these lines will be translated into Java code by the step definition file. Uh, or rather, the step definition files will have code to mimic 
these business scenarios so that's how gherkin works so gherkin is just a english type language which we have to translate into our java code so we will be doing that in our framework development in these video series so as of now i am uh, i am not uh, creating a project right now we will start that from the next session onwards i just gave you a brief of what cucumber is what gherkin is what all jars are required for the framework development so just go ahead and uh, do some research on cucumber.io and see you in the next tutorial thank you